Hey guys, my name is Aubrey and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Aubrey. I'm an entrepreneur and this is my channel where I discuss all things personal finance, business, entrepreneurship, and everything in between. We cover a lot of topics like Turo, investing, starting a business, and also going through and giving you some tips and tricks and lessons that I've learned over the years in being an entrepreneur. If you like this content and you like this video, then I would greatly appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. It really helps improve the reach of the video and helps the YouTube algorithm. So I would greatly appreciate it. So let's dive into the video. So in today's video, I want to go through a handful of ways that you can go about earning an extra $50 a day every day for the next year. Now, I know that as we all get older and as our bills become higher and as our cost of living becomes higher, the value of $50 gets a bit diminished. And what I mean by that is whenever we're kids and we are like getting Christmas money or birthday money or tooth fairy money, $50 is a ton of money. But as we get older and we have so many bills and so many expenses and our income increases, the value of $50 isn't quite as significant. But did you know that earning an extra $50 a day, but did you know that earning an extra $50 a day every day for an entire week equates to $350 a week? And earning that money every week for a month equates to over $1,400. And earning that money every day for an entire year can average over $17,000. So no longer does this $50 a day just become $50 a day. This $50 a day becomes $17,000 a year and that adds up to be a lot of money. I know that you probably can think of a dozen different ways that you could spend $17,000. I know that I could, but you can put a down payment on a property depending on the cost of the property. You could buy a vehicle or put a down payment for a really nice vehicle. You could invest it. You could do a number of things with $17,000. So. In this video, I want to talk about a couple of ways or a few ways that I think that are really great ways to kind of take on extra work at the end of your regular workday and can help you earn that extra $17,000 a year. So let's get started. So one of the most obvious answers to the question of how do you earn extra income is to do services like Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub, and things like that. The reason why I really like these types of services as a way to earn extra income is because of the fact that you can do it on your own schedule. You can have a regular nine to five job and then on the weekends or at night, you can take on some extra shifts and some extra hours of work and make that extra $50 a day by doing a couple hours of Lyft or DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber and it becomes a pretty easy way to earn extra income. You could even just work your regular nine to five from Monday through Friday, take on some extra shifts Friday night or Saturday night, and then just live the rest of your week normally. And potentially the money that you would earn that Friday and Saturday could average out to being that kind of 350 or $50 a day number. So it definitely can be a really good way to earn the extra $50 a day, especially if you like to drive and you like to meet new people and you like to talk to people, it can be a really great way to earn extra cash. The one downside I would say, and this is kind of where the like driving and delivery service type of side hustles can get you into trouble, is the cost of like maintaining your vehicle and the maintenance costs associated with putting those extra miles on your car. I would definitely run the numbers and if you drive like a more expensive car or a less economical car, this side hustle may not make a whole lot of sense simply because you are going to be driving a lot and you're gonna be putting a lot of wear and tear on your tires and you're gonna need oil changes more frequently and you're gonna put miles in your car. And once you account those expenses, you may not be making as much money as you think. So that $17,000 may actually get closer to like eight or $9,000 if you're putting on a lot of extra miles and added maintenance to your vehicle and things like that. So that is my first suggestion. Drive for Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, any sort of delivery or taxi-like service, drive share service. My next suggestion, and this is something that I did all the time in high school, is flipping things on Craigslist. I used to buy things on eBay or on Craigslist, and now they have a lot of apps that also are similar to Craigslist where you can buy things for cheap. And I would buy these things and I would flip them on Craigslist. You have no idea how many people sell things on Craigslist or eBay or Facebook Marketplace, and they have absolutely no idea what they're doing. They'll take 
take horrible photos. They won't, they won't clean the items. They'll list the item for way cheaper than what it's worth. And they'll just be really lazy about the entire thing. And oftentimes people that sell stuff like very casually on these types of platforms, they don't really put a whole lot of thought into the process. So oftentimes you can find these items that people are ready to sell. They're just wanting out of their house. You can buy the item for cheap. You can clean it up, take some professional photos, find the actual value of the item, and then you can sell it for a profit. And then you can continue doing that over and over and over again, either with cheap items or as you continue to grow your flipping business, you can sell more and more expensive items and work your way up to things like cars and things like that. I really like the flipping business because I think that if somebody is willing to work and they're willing to kind of get their hands dirty and they're willing to really grind at it, then you can make a lot of money because again, it comes down to like the people who are listing things on these marketplaces who are just really lazy about it and they don't do proper research, they don't take proper photos and they just want the item gone. So people like you can swoop in, they can buy the item, they can clean it up, they can take professional photos and you can mark up the item for probably two to three times the price that you paid for it and make an easy profit. And then once you get good at it, you can even find like a niche of products that you're really good at fixing up, you're really good at cleaning up, and you're really good at flipping. Like I know of people who specifically flip cell phones. They'll buy really cheap cell phones online, they'll fix them up and then sell them for a profit. I know of people who of course do that with cars, people that do it with bicycles. There is a whole industry of people that purely make their money from flipping items on Craigslist or eBay or Facebook Marketplace, and it is a really great way to earn an extra $50 a day. My next suggestion is another one that I have never actually done myself, though I totally would be a customer of this type of service, and that is dog watching, dog sitting, or dog walking services. Like Uber or Lyft or Grubhub, there is a large app marketplace for people to connect with dog owners who are looking for other people to watch and take care of their dogs. There's no debating that people love their dogs and if you work a hectic schedule or if you have to travel for work or even if you just work a nine to five, there's a lot of people that are looking for somebody reliable, and trustworthy, and of course somebody who loves dogs to come to their house in the middle of the day, let their dog out, take their dog for a walk, feed their dog if they need to, and even stay overnight and watch their dog when they're out of town. In fact, about five years ago, whenever I was opening up my franchise, I was working 20 hour days and I actually signed up my dog for a doggy daycare because at the time I only had one dog, I was living in an apartment and I didn't want him to be by himself all day long. So I found this doggy daycare near my franchise. I took him to it every single day. It was incredibly expensive, but it was well worth it because it meant that my dog wasn't sitting at home all day by himself. Well, it turns out about three months into the doggy daycare, he actually got banned from the doggy daycare because he was picking fights with other dogs and causing issues for the staff. So we had to stop taking him to doggy daycare. I actually at the time didn't know that these types of services existed, but had I have known, I 100% would have hired somebody to come and look after my dog because I'm somebody who values having my dog not be home by himself all day long. And there are hundreds if not thousands of other people that feel the exact same way. So you can go on apps like WAG, Rover, Dog Vacay, and you can find these types of owners that are looking for somebody to watch after their dog. You can submit a proposal or an application and then they can hire you. I know of people that go to different houses every single day to walk the same dogs. I know of people that will stay at an owner's house for weeks at a time if they're traveling and watch the dog. It's a really great way to make some extra income, especially if you're somebody that likes to be outside, that likes dogs, and that likes these types of side hustles. So if you're a dog person and you have a couple extra hours to spare during the day, then a dog service like WAG or Rover could be the perfect way for you to make an extra $50 a day. Now, my last suggestion is also my favorite suggestion and is the one that I have personally used the most in my career, and that is Upwork. I absolutely love Upwork and I recommend it to almost everybody I know if they're looking for a way to earn extra money. Now, for those of you who don't know, Upwork is a website that connects freelancers with companies that are wanting to hire freelancers. So if you have a skill that you can use and you can get paid for, you can find people who are looking for that skill through Upwork. But it's not just limited to skilled work. There is really everything and anything that you can think of on Upwork, from things like doing transcriptions, so just like listening to audio and then typing out a transcript of it, from reviewing products to doing like odd errands, 
I have personally hired attorneys and accountants and gotten legal advice through Upwork. I have formed an LLC through an accountant that I found on Upwork. Um, there is just such a wide ranging of opportunities on Upwork for people to make extra money. Now, my last suggestion is also my favorite suggestion, and it's the one that I have used the most in my own career, and that is Upwork. I absolutely love Upwork. I recommend it to almost everybody I know who's looking for a way to make some side money, and I think it is a great way to make an extra $50 a day. For those of you who don't know, Upwork is a website that connects freelancers with people who are wanting to hire freelancers. You can find everything that you could possibly imagine on Upwork, from graphic design to internet marketing to lawyers to accountants and everything in between. I have hired a number of people on Upwork for my own businesses, and I have also been hired hundreds of times on Upwork for me to provide my expertise to other businesses. The thing I love about Upwork is that anybody can do it. Yes, there are definitely like those skilled trade industries like legal or accounting or graphic design that not everybody can do, but there's a lot of odd jobs that literally anybody could do from data entry to transcriptions, to product reviews, to like doing clerical work or virtual assistant work. There is so many options on Upwork for people that don't have specific skills. And the reason why Upwork is my favorite method for earning $50 a day is because you can do it on your own schedule. If you're getting paid 10 to 15 to 20 dollars an hour doing a job on Upwork, it will only take you between two and three hours, maybe a little bit more if you're getting paid less to make that extra $50. And as you build up your profile, as you make take on more jobs and get kind of more of a rapport with Upwork, you can start charging more and more and eventually it will take you less time to reach that $50 threshold. But you can do it all at your own time, which means that if you work a nine to five, you can wake up a couple hours early and do some Upwork before you go to work, you could potentially do some work while you're on your lunch break and you can do some after work. It's very easy to just work an hour here and an hour there and make that extra $50 without having to drive to a different location, without having to drive your car around for Uber, without having to drive to a stranger's house to walk their dog. It really is the perfect way, in my opinion, to make some extra cash. Now, these are just a few ways that you can make an extra $50 a day. I mean, the ways that you can go about doing this are literally endless, and I have limited this list to ways that I personally know for a fact can make you an extra 50 a day. But the thing that you have to remember is that $17,000 a year is a lot of money, and that means that you do have to put in the work, you do have to hustle, you do have to go out of your way in order to do it. No one is going to walk over and hand you $50 for doing nothing. So you need to make sure that you're providing value you and that you're actually going out there and working to get that extra $50 and eventually it'll become easier and easier. Like I said with Upwork, you may start out making $10 an hour for these jobs, but eventually you can get up to $20, $30, $40 an hour for doing more specific work. So many people who are looking for help, whether that means driving them around, delivering them food, walking their dog, or doing Upwork or a freelancer, they want somebody reliable. They want somebody smart. They want somebody hardworking. And in a world full of people that are lazy and unwilling to work hard and just unwilling to go that extra mile, it leaves a lot of opportunity for people who are really wanting to make that extra money and wanting to go that extra distance to better themselves. So these are just a few suggestions on how you can make an extra $50 a day or an extra $17,000 a year. Like I said, this is just such a small portion of ways that you can go about doing this. But remember, the options are literally limitless and eventually maybe you could take one of these ideas, you could automate it and then you could start making an extra $50 a day whenever you're not even doing anything yourself. Remember, stay creative keep your mind open and always keep exploring new ideas and eventually finding a way to make an extra $50 will become a piece of cake and you'll be trying to figure out ways to make an extra $500 a day. So keep working and in the meantime, I appreciate you checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.